you're anything like me, your desk and home office gets messy real quick. It's one thing to nicely set up your home office and desk, but it's another thing to keep it clean and well organized. In today's video, I'll share the gadgets and tricks I use to keep my home office fresh with minimal effort to foster an environment to do our best work every day. I'll also be giving away an item from this video, so be sure to stay until the end for the giveaway. The first port of call is cleaning the nasties out of the nooks of my keyboard, mouse and earphones that not only look bad but can sometimes impact its use. Fortunately, it's a breeze to clean with this multi-purpose cleaning tool that I got from Amazon. This single tool surprisingly fits nylon bristles, flocking sponge, high density brush, metal pen tip and a keycap puller all in one. For most keyboards, you can simply brush out the dirt and gunk with the long tipped brush, but if you have a mechanical keyboard, the keycap puller is pretty useful in a deeper clean. The metal pen tip and mini brush is an absolute gem when it comes to cleaning mice and headphones too and getting all that nasty gunk out in areas that you don't want it to be in. Seriously, look at all the junk just left behind. Now that we're done cleaning out the accessories and, you know, judging just how embarrassingly dirty my AirPods are, I usually like to have an area to stash my items that I regularly use off of my desk. I recently got this beautiful desk towel organizer. It's designed in Nara, Japan, and this sits on my left hand side on my desk shelf and its wooden accents are made of Japanese elm. It's where I leave random quick access stuff like my spare pens, coins, phone, and my watch when I need to run out the door. I like to reserve the desk space for must use items because I like to keep it as clear as possible and keeps me focused on what's most important the task at hand usually on the screen. And if I'm burning the midnight oil, one extra item that I love having on my desk is a candle. There's something about the flicker of a candle light that evokes focus and calm at the same time. This candle here is from Dipti. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a French brand. And this one is the Santal scent. It elopes the air with inviting and slightly spicy fragrance. I also rate Dipti's iconic bay scent if you're looking for a candle to decorate your space too. Along with the candle, I also still use Volopsba's diffusers to keep a steady scent lingering throughout the day. I find scent just as powerful as sight when it comes to decorating your home office and you know, it's a worthwhile investment in my opinion. The next addition is the biggest game changer to keeping my home office neat and clean. A robot vacuum cleaner, the Roborock S7 Max V Ultra. I'm partnering with Roborock in today's video and I can tell you that this isn't just any other robot vacuum cleaner. This is a next gen robot cleaner that's able to automatically vacuum, mop, empties its trash, refuels its water tank, wash its own mop and holds up to seven weeks of dust. It's seriously impressive. I have the Roborock S7 Max V Ultra set to clean my home office daily and it's pretty automated. So you know my office gets messy throughout the week and its obstacle avoidance system, Reactive AI 2, is able to recognize and avoid obstacles accurately so it doesn't suck up cables and run into all my camera gear. It works through its pair of cameras that sort of act like eyes and is able to avoid 27 types of obstacles so I don't need to waste time worrying about what's on the floor while it works away. There is up to 5100 PA suction power which is great for carpet and is able to suck up fine dust and reach deeper into carpets but this nifty robot instead decides the suction power based on my floor type automatically. So when floorboards or tiles are detected, like in the kitchen, the intelligent mop mode turns on and it starts scrubbing the floor with sonic vibration and lifts back up when it detects carpet again. So yeah, it's intelligent and diverse enough that I can leave it to do its thing while I work away. And then when it's all done, it auto docks itself and fast charges and I can see all the stats through the companion app too. Uh, my OCD gets a small kick from this. This thing is essentially a robot maid and a powerful one at that. Even the name sounds like a serious transformer in battle. The Roborock S7 Max V Ultra, pretty intense. 
I'll drop a link below if you want to check it out yourself and maybe outsource a chore to this robot too. Next up and just as practical is this Herman Miller Aeron. This chair is used by presidents Steve Carell and Obama for example. I've been talking about this chair for some time but just couldn't fathom dropping $2,000 plus on an office chair. I finally bit the bullets and like many others I realized I should have invested into it earlier. The Aeron is iconic for a reason. Where most office chairs tend to prioritize aesthetics over productivity, the Aeron is uncompromising. After weeks with it, it is by far, without a doubt, the best office chair I've actually sat on. This one here is the newly released and remastered Aeron Onyx. The main change here is of course the jet black onyx colorway and the fact it's now made of ocean bound plastic without compromising the world class Herman Miller ergonomics. When I was shopping for this, I sat on other Herman Miller chairs like the Embody, Cell, and Cosm, but the Aeron was my personal favorite. It looks amazing in the office and I totally recommend saving up to one if you can. Next up, let's tackle dust. Dust builds up quick in most spaces, especially if you have carpets and so I usually dust down the home office weekly. I found out that standard feather dusters can potentially scratch delicate surfaces like screens and push dust and debris around. So I changed to a microfiber delicate duster and it's loads better. It just picks up a lot more dust and is pretty easy on surfaces. I picked this one up from Amazon and it has a non-slip rubber handle with a detachable head so I'm able to throw it into the wash rather than continually buy new dusters which is a waste of money and not great for the environment in the first place. And talking of cleaning surfaces, I want to get rid of these eyesore skid marks left from the previous monitor arm. Rather than go through the hassle of repainting the entire wall, I got this magic marker and well, it didn't really work as well as I wanted but hey, at least they're a little less noticeable now. But yeah, this isn't really something I recommend uh, out of this entire list. The other cleaning kit that I love and works far better is this Gob cleaning kit for streak-free displays. The glass cleaner is plant-based with deionized water, soybean and grain extract. This kit also comes with a blower, fine brush and two oversized microfiber cloths. I've yet to find another high quality cleaning kit so well packaged and environmentally conscious, $40 or $50 and I have no clue why but the prices jumped up to $100 which is so overpriced in my opinion. Talk about inflation hitting us hard, right? Going back to the shelf on my left, organizing any paper documents is important. Unfortunately, it's not as easy as, you know, dragging and dropping them into a digital folder though. I've never been a fan of the magazine files on the bottom shelf. They're just an eyesore in my opinion. They look so 1990s. So I've replaced it with this bamboo folder organizer. This sent me back about 90 US dollars, but you get what you pay for. Beautiful, high quality bamboo dividers that feel really sturdy and its rubber feet ensure it doesn't slip around. This is a piece that far better suits the woody aesthetic of the shelf once again. And it goes to show how important it is to thoughtfully buy pieces that complement one another. Greenery also goes a long way in an office space too. My home office doesn't get much natural light, so it's tough to grow plants here, but I do have a snake plant in this area, which seems to thrive. And I also grabbed Grove Maid's hand sanded hardwood planters to house a succulent. It brightens up the space with some green and is accented with stainless steel to match its surroundings. I also like to use this indoor plant food formulation to help the plants thrive in a low light environment by giving it the nutrients it's lacking. I also decided to change the felt desk pad with a leather one just to change things up. This one is in Grove Maid's medium size, which I find perfect for this sit stand desk. It's just large enough to give flair to the desk without overrunning the entire space. Plus, it's sized perfectly to shift around the desk and all the accessories that conveniently sit on it. I often try to make buying decisions for the home office based on two things, practicality and design. That's why I settled on the Audio Engine A2 Plus Wireless as my new desktop speakers. They're a great mix of minimalistic portable design while actually being amazing quality speakers. They're a step up from my previous boring looking Bose Companion 2 speakers and lift up the desk space that much more. This one just looks great and it complements the entire aesthetic of this desk. 
It's so important that you build a space that you're proud of and maintain. Chances are, if you watch this video, you also spend big chunks of time at your desk. I hope some of these items and tips help you foster a positive, happy, clean space that you're comfortable working in every day. It doesn't need to be expensive. You don't need the latest tech. As long as it represents you and you're inspired by your space, that's all that matters. I think the best part of this all is the best desk setups and home offices continually change as you involve as a professional and individual. To enter the giveaway to win one of the items from this video, comment your favorite item on your own desk with your YouTube profile, subscribe, and we'll be announcing the winner in our newsletter. If you enjoy these types of videos, which it seems like many of you do, I'm going to be updating this space and actually moving to a much larger space, a new studio and office. So I cannot wait to show you guys when that actually happens, which is quite soon. So stay subscribed for that and you'll see it first. Uh, if you made it to the end of this video, drop the code word comment strawberries. Also, I'll leave on screen here a couple of videos that you might be interested in. We do a lot of tech reviews here and also a lot of desk setups, that sort of stuff. So if you're interested, go check them out. And as always, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.